Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV. We are here at Results World. What a card. Um, fight of the year, potentially, we'll start off with Crocker and Walker. Yeah, unbelievable. Oh, look. Ben, do you want to come and talk to your mate? Don't want to come in, Ben? Ben, no B- ben don't, uh, didn't, want to, didn't want to smoke, no? I'm not getting involved in your games, mate. I'm not giving you headlines. You know my... I've given you enough over time. You spoke to him today. I said hello. said goodbye. Anything else? Not really, mate. A few bits and bits. Not, nothing much, mate. <laughs> um, right, yeah, let's talk about Conor Walker versus Lewis Crocker. Um, what a fight. Right, man one? Uh, I think it was a very close fight. Probably, yes. But a close fight. A brilliant fight. A fight we'd love to see again. You know, um, uh, just an unbelievable performance from both those guys. You know, Lewis won a lot of the early rounds, but Conor Walker came back through. That crowd support especially, I think, gave him, you know, just gave him that extra get up and go in those in those rounds and a tremendous fight. Because a lot of people didn't really have thought he was probably a bit too small. Um, but, you know, he did not stop coming forward. So respect to both of those guys because they gave us a great night of entertainment. And like I say, we'd love to see that one again. What's more likely, rematch or Paddy Donovan? Uh, let's see. You know, Paddy Donovan, that fight's there. It's, it, it's ready to go. It's a massive fight as well. We've seen the nights they've given us. You know, we've seen um, the, the sort of requests for it in, in, in Ireland. And that, that's a fight we'd love to see. So let's see. Um, talk about the main event then. Weren't to be for Felix Cash tonight. Do you think inactivity played a part in those early parts of the fight? Yeah, possibly, you know, for sure. I think Felix Cash of old, you know, would have dealt with that fight in a very different manner. You know, I don't. I think he's been out for a year and a half, two years, something like that. Um, so, but that's the sport we're in. Tyler Denny took his chance, you know, and, and I think it was a tremendous, tremendous win for him. And, you know, he's going to go on for here some big nights. I'm sure he's going to get some big opportunities now. I spoke to Eddie about this. Um, he did reveal to me about this, about... Kane Baker and Akeem Fiaz. Um, some ig- irregularities with be- betting, anything? Can you tell us anything about that? Uh, no, not really. No, nothing more than what he said in terms of, you know, there's going to be an investigation yeah. that the board will, you know, go through that process now. Um, it's not one that we'll get involved in. You know, the board will work with the, you know, the gambling commissions, etc. And I'm sure they'll follow up in due course. I bet that was a strange thing to kind of deal with. Um, Eddie said in all of his years working in boxing, he's never actually had to do deal with anything like this. No, no, no. no. Look, uh, look, we we run a lot of events, a lot of different sports and businesses, and you know we uh, across different sports, we've seen things in the past, and we've you know we've had things dealt with in this you know within this instance. Um, but yeah, it was something we hadn't been across before in boxing. But you know. I think the investigation will go on there, just like anything with these things. An investigation has to happen, and as soon as there's more details, I'm sure it'll be shared. Carol Progray, what a fight. Probably the best fight that can be made in the division that's not a world title fight. 100%, 100%, huge fight. Um, I'm glad we could deliver it for Jack Catterall. And at the same time, Regis Progray, we've promoted now for a few fights. It's a massive fight. Um, Jack's been had frustrating times before he signed with us but you know in just 15 months he would have had four fights and uh, it's exactly what we said we'd deliver for him that Regis Progray on the other hand this gives him a huge opportunity to get back in contention for those world title shots you know he's coming off the back of that Devin Haney fight he knows he needs to go in there and deliver a performance Um, the first event at Co-op Live in Manchester as well which is going to be great a venue that we've been looking forward to going to for a long time and I'm glad we could deliver it because it's a look it's a massive fight again you know part of your subscription on the zone a great run of fights on the schedule and uh, yeah a great one to add to it last one will I see you Wednesday no I'm in Phoenix I go to Phoenix Uh, see some of your colleagues Wednesday uh, I don't know possibly yeah you might do um I'm in Phoenix though, we've got a big night. Estrada Bam on Saturday night. night eight, 9,000 people in Phoenix for that show. Sonny Edwards is back um, against Curiel. Ramler Ali, Ramler Ali challenges for the world title. Massive night, massive show. The big nights don't stop coming. And uh, let's go. 
I like the way you've really tried to wiggle out of any AJ questions. So I'm, I don't really want to press you anymore on it. I'll just say to you, let's wait and see, because who knows? I wouldn't even say no comment. I'll say, we shall see. One more then. One more. <laughs> One more. One. Um, 258 have been in town this week with Shannon Ryan, who yeah. obviously lost a very close decision, and Emmanuel Yassi, who had a great knockout. Has there been discussions with your team surrounding them about the AJ fight and his future? There's always discussions. We speak every day. <laughs> <laughs> no, we do. You know, he's, uh, he's a superstar, you know, and uh, we speak every day to them nearly. So there is always discussions. AJ will be back um, in big fights. Frank Smith, thank you very much. Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook.